I'm just gonna, I'm gonna continue where I left off. Part two, right? Part two. Okay, so on our Bollinger Bands, uh, trying to break through the middle BB right here. On our 12 hour, on the daily, we're clearly broken out to the top side, making a rising wedge. All right, let's pull over here. Of course, I gotta reset all my damn charts. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at our divergence that's going on. So here we go, uh, we bounce, bounce, trying to get off, bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce, still angling down. Now, look at our volume here, peoples, right? Look at the volume here. The volume is still dropping on the weekly, right? Our volume is still going down on the weekly. It is not rising, right? It is not rising. Our volume is low. Listen, bearish volume is not what we want, okay? Bearish volume is not good. When the bearish volume ticks up, that's not good volume there, okay? So our very our volume is very, very low. You can see how our volume played out back here. And you all know how this played out right here, right? So this is all very bearish, very bearish. Now look at here. Now here's where you got bullish, right? You're, there you go. And then you knew it was coming to an end. And then we get a nice push back up, right? Same thing here. You know, you're, you're bearish. You had bullish divergence right there right there's your bullish divergence okay this didn't do anything this kind of dropped and this has all kind of been moving sideways but still lower still has to break up over these candles right here and we're not doing it right right now all we're doing is just putting in a big bearish candle with bearish volume okay so we just got to really watch out for this and you can see your bear bullish and bearish divergence is playing out right there all right and let's cruise along to the next chart now that I have to load up every damn chart, ah, the most important part of the show. I know that's what everybody is waiting for. This is my bubble charts. I feel like this is, it's all people want. You guys just want me for, want me for my bubble charts and, all right, where are you at? There you are. All right, so let's get in here. Let's take a look and see what we got here. So, all right, so this is historically kind of what we have here. Let me scrunch this up. Oh my God, just calling this out absolutely perfect, right? Just calling this out perfect. Okay, so look at this right here. A, B, C, D, E broke up and then died, right? Here you go. A, B, C, D, E breaking up and is gonna die now it look take a look right down here so if you go down here you see you're doing almost the same thing ho 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 oh ho ho oh ho be afraid be very afraid peoples right when this blue line crosses that green line it's dumpy dumpy time it's nighty night nappy nap take a nap go to sleep bye bye btc Right, so here you go. So if this blue line crosses over, right, this green line, this is no bueno. This is very, 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 very bearish, right? This is very bearish to cross this. You don't want to cross this line right here with your blue line. You do not want your blue line. And this head and shoulders is still playing out really well. You have this head and shoulders pattern playing out extremely well. And every time you get this cross, right? You get this cross of this blue and the green line. It is a massive dump, right? So you don't want that to happen. You do not want this to cross over here, okay? So let's go and you can, you know, we just, we can go back. Let me open this up a little bit. Let me, oh, but look at how well it's playing out right here. Look at how well this is just totally playing out almost perfect see here historically look at this tap the the 88 tap the 618 tap the 50 tap the 382 right and then you come over here to the present time right look tap the 718 tap the 50 trying to tap the 382 the 382 is at 6683 and we'll see if it can make it back up there, right? The 6683 and we'll continue. This chart is one of the most, this just seeing is super, just so accurate, right? And, but I'm going to show you how 
the worry now is that we are loading back up. So you see your price is coming back up into this, right? So your price is coming back up into this. Now, what you have, oh, let's get this over here. So you see you're squeezing. You see the wedge you put in right here, this wedge. So you're putting in this wedge for the price action. And when this price action gets squeezed down here, look, it just keeps getting squeezed. And then they all come together. All of them come together and then it dumps and it squeezes and they all come together and it dumps. And right now we're looking for the second possible dump right here because look, is the every time, see, look here, the blue line and you see this, this green and pink line right here. So there's the green and pink line and let me pull this off. So there's the green, this line is green and pink. And when this line breaks through, it's the massive dump part, right? And this can happen at any time, right? So we'll go right here. So here you go. Here this came down. As soon as it crossed through, it crossed through and it dumped, right? You had this big dump right here. And on the low side, look look at the dump right here. So here's on the low side. So this came through and then it, boom. As soon as it crossed through right there, it was a huge dump. This just kept dumping all the way down and you just follow this blue line all the way to the bottom and then once it did get to the bottom this is where it bottomed out and you can see where the bottom was called right there and then it was off to the races again it was a complete just moonshot so we have almost crossed again look at how close this is right we're like super we're almost touching right here and I'm just we're watching this out now because we're this close this is why I'm in a short. I'm in a short because we are this close, right? Now, this A, of course, listen, nothing is foolproof. Nothing is foolproof, right? You just, this this is not a 100% foolproof plan, but it is pretty damn good. Like right here, look at dump through. You got the dump right there. Now you look back, yeah, it's 300 point dump, 500 point dump, meh. You know, so, so, but look, cross through there cross through right here there's the cross again on that red nine right just a complete dump down huge dump if you would have got into your short there and just held on to it and had some real balls you would have been able to hold that puppy all the way to the bottom okay so you this is kind of what i'm watching i'm watching this as this plays out right here's a cross again crosses there dumps crosses here right so every time this blue line rips through here you got to be careful because there's a dump a coming right now the dump doesn't have to be massive either it's not like this thing has to fall out 750 or a thousand points it just doesn't have to do that right i mean it, you know it could be a, a 300 point fall it could be a 500 point fall right but but it still calls it does a good job of calling falls right here okay so now this acts as a boomerang also. So if you go into here, right, one thing you can do is you can go into this chart and we want to thank Gunnar for this. The guy's a beast, right? We had him on his show last night with all, uh, with all uh, the fam, right? So check this out, right? So squeeze there, squeeze here, right? Dump, right? There's the dump, right? Same thing, squeeze here. Squeeze here, right? These all come together and dump, right? Same thing. You can kind of do every single one of these. They all squeeze, you know, whenever they all squeeze together, you know, here's another squeeze. There's a squeeze. There's there's all these squeezes. You got to just you watch. Keep your eye on the ball and you can see how these all work together to just fall out, how the price action falls out right here. So we're watching, this is our key thing. We're just looking for this to fall out because the second this breaks, there it is, boom, snaps, and it just dies. Now look at this one, bounced off and mooned and then died. Now this likes to do these double bounces, right? So take a look. So I'll show you this one more time. Look at this, bounce, bounce, die, bounce, bounce, die. Okay, let's go back down here, bounce, bounce, and then it finally died. So you got two bounces, one bounce, two bounce, and this, you know, this would have been super hard to play, uh, super tough to play this chart, but you know, it would have got there and you would have had a big sad face later, right? But this one's much easier to play. Bounce, bounce, die, 
bounce, bounce, die. And now we've only done one bounce right here, okay? We've only done one bounce right here. So does that mean there's a second bounce coming? Is there a second bounce right here? You know, is this just now we're, we're down? We've, we've taken that first fall, right? We've taken that first fall, right? Because we never found the bottom. And look at here. Every time you do this two top, two tops, it finds the bottom before it resets. Two tops, finds the bottom before it resets. Two tops, never found the bottom. Okay, see so this pattern plays out over and over and over again, right? Likes to find the two tops and then it likes to bottom out. So after it's found those two tops, see look, two tops, bottomed out, right? This one would have been super tough to play because look, you never... It just never happened, right? You never got it over on this chart right here. You never got the two top. It just was too insane. There was no way to call this top. I mean, you were just, if I would have been playing this chart and playing this, I would have been like, oh yeah, this thing's, we're going to 30,000. No problem, right? Just watching this thing climb to oblivion, right? Because I mean, this thing can, look at it, because it can keep going. And then I would have watched this right here and I would watch this right here and this thing would have just kept going and going and going. Okay, so this thing would have just kept going. Uh, no, I've never... Midnight, Brad, uh, I've never traded a day in my life since uh, I started trading. I started charting uh, in uh, January 25th, 2018. So I am a total noob. You guys are following a noob. You guys should, you know, you'd be doing better off following somebody with lots of experience like Marius or Hygen or somebody like that. They do much... They have a lot of experience trading. Me, not so much. All right, so let's uh, let's kind of line up. You know, you can also get some pretty good trend lines out of this action. You know, you can look down here and you can possibly find some some trend lines maybe that, you know, you might have missed. Uh, you know, something like that. All right, there, there you go. Tap, tap. Okay, coming down for the third tap right here. <laughs> so we're coming down for the third tap. One, two, three, coming down for the fourth tap. And listen, let's see if this puppy holds. This is getting scary, right? Could you make a trend line back here with this one? Right? Could you have made a trend line? Not really. And I, I just couldn't really make a, not a one line trend line. Right? I couldn't really make a one line trend line out of this here. Maybe if I did something, uh, maybe something like this, right? Maybe something like that, you know, kind of like there. All right, there you go. Tap, 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 right? And you would have gone test, test, and die, right? So you would have tested. Now, the other thing to watch out for is when you cross, uh, when you cross this brown line, right, or orange line, you, know, you also have to watch these dumps when you cross the orange or brown line also, right? So the higher, when this is coming down, when this orange line is coming down, it is bullish. This is bullish. When the orange line is going up, it is bearish. So the higher you go, the more bearish it is, right? So look at, here's your trend fell and you went up. So this orange line indicates bear versus bull. And as these pull apart, so your blue line at the bottom, as your blue line falls, and your 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 you know, this is your bull line. So as this brown as this orange line climbs, this works like a resistance rubber band. So imagine you're just pulling a rubber band apart. It wants to snap back together. See, look at every time. See, here's the rubber band right here. Once it's snapped together, here's the rubber band. Look, here's the rubber band right here, right? And it keeps trying to snap together, but it can't. And eventually it'll come together. And when it comes together, all of a sudden it'll go ahead and turn. It flipped bullish, right? Just completely flipped bullish. Like, bam, this cross right here was like, okay, we're not kidding. This is bullish and just went through the moon. <laughs> okay, so as this thing turns south, when this goes south, this is bullish, Right, so now this is trying to level off. Before, this was just straight down uh, yesterday. Now it's trying to level off. And at the same time, we're trying to get this, uh, this cross in. Right, I'm just waiting for this cross to come in. Because I look right here, 
And the last time we did this, where these came down like this and crossed, right? You, this is just, this thing fell right out. Just fell completely out. And this happened midday, right? This happened in the middle of the day. So you see how long this line is, right? This line literally happened over, it. this happened in between a full day period. So the price dropped and each one of these little dots is a day, right? That's a day. So this thing can move during the day. So if this completely, if our price action right here just takes a tank on us, it'll go down. And if it takes a super, you know, if it, and this'll, this'll start to, this line will start to tick up right here. So something we can watch for. Now, is a bounce possible right there? 100% simply because this chart says, historically, you had a greater bounce up here to the 323, right? Which we've already shown you. And there it is, right? So this is still possible, okay? And then here's that cross. You know, you're looking. Look at where this, you know, when these cross, this thing gets really, really ugly. You don't want this. All right, so, so there you go. So there's this is what I'm looking for right there in that chart. Let's move on. Let's take a look at our doggy chart. See what the dog is doing. All right, I like to use the dog to base on. Still holding. The dog is still holding strong. All right, I, I like to see doggy drop out when BTC drops out. So this is not giving me a signal to BTC falling out yet. Um... Uh, our fibs, uh, this is our fib lines. So let's take a look at all our fib line chart right here. And, you know, just no help. Uh, there's no help on this fib line chart. Uh, we see this is our support with this trend line. So all this is is trend lines. Uh, here's our bottom trend line. My bottom target still down here and still keeps moving up. Okay, so my bottom target still keeps moving up. And now I'm just going to have to keep raising because I was shooting for this uh, 786 right here at 62.81. And as this thing is just keeps moving up, that target's just going to keep getting higher because I think we're going to find support on this line right here. This pink line right here is a touch, 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 touch all the way up. So this is my support. This does not become bullish until you break this trend line. This is the 6671, right? Now, let's go back. Remember that number, 6671, all right? And it could be a little lower, you know, if this moves sideways, but 6671, 6683, right? 6683, right? So that's way, you know, this is, you could get all, this is, this can get up here. If this is going to follow this chart right here, 6683 would be your top a little lower it looks like it might be a little lower and then it would die out and that's this what you know there's all these trend lines up here you'd get up you'd tap this line and then this thing would fall straight out uh let's scooch into tron real quick see how tron's doing uh not bad tron's doing okay tron's doing all right let's see if uh any crosses any bullish cross any bearish crosses uh 12 hour just resistance above put in this spinning top candle Put in this wicked hanging man candle, which should have dived dove farther. Uh, on the daily, put in this spinning top candle at the bottom. Did come up off it. You got the bearish cross. And now this is a death cross right here. This is a very bearish cross right there. All right. And let's get over to my Tron BTC chart. Uh, so this is my Tron BTC chart. Check this out. Look at this. Here's my trend line. Look at how this thing is holding. Look at this thing. Bang, 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 bang. Tried to, it couldn't even make it again. I mean, this is, I don't even know how you do Elliott Wave inside of this disaster right here. This is like a beautiful Elliott Wave disaster right there. Uh, Litecoin. Uh, so, you know, on Litecoin, I'm, I'm completely just frozen. I'm frozen on Litecoin. I don't know. This can still go either way. This is go bull or go bear. Right, you didn't you really, almost you wicked through this wave one over here. You wicked through it, and that is okay with Elliot. 
So I, it, this is going to either break up or break down. I couldn't, I won't, I'm not going to play this. And that's the reason I'm not going to play this because this could go either way 50-50 right here. Right, uh, Neo, really don't, haven't been playing Neo. ADA, I have been playing ADA. Let's take a look at our ADA charts. Uh, kind of same thing, you know, look, it, it, you never broke. So this never broke here. So you never broke through there. So now you're in the same quandary. You're, you're, you're charging down the same path right here because you can count this two, three, four, five, right? You can still, you can count this as a five wave down. You can count this as a, a one, two, three, massive retrace four to five. ADA, no help at all with ADA. Same thing with ADA, BTC. Uh, there it is. This is my chart, uh, lost, lost. Right, I'm like a, I'm like, I'm like a guy in a sports good sporting goods store with an empty with an unlimited credit card. I don't know what to buy. Uh, XRP. Let's take a look at XRP. We get a lot of requests for it. Uh, on the tw on the four hour, you do have a bearish cross. On the twelve hour, uh, you're so far ahead of everything. You're just all your moving averages are just so far behind you. They're all trying to catch up. They can't even do it because you had this absolutely moon run. Uh, let's take a look. You know, this isn't this even. So you're being held down by your 200 right here. So you're being held down by your 200, but it, this isn't a bearish cross. This is no way this is a bearish cross right here. I wouldn't look at this as a bearish cross. The seven needs to come from the top side. If anything, this is a neutral cross, if anything at all. So that just no play. I don't like to play XRP because it's super dangerous. And this is the kind of stuff you have to deal with, these, these wild swings right here. Like this open, I happened over a day. You went from 43, 44 cents to 57 cents, all the way back down to 48 cents, and now you're up to 54 cents. That's a mean swing when you're playing that and you're looking at your portfolio just get absolutely wrecked. Uh, ETH, okay, so I like playing ETH because ETH did clearly violate wave one. Right, so one, two, three. I kind of squeezed out a four, five right here. I kind of can squeeze out a four, five. Now, Yope in our group squeezed. He did this as a truncated fifth, and he counted this as a wave one, two, three, four, uh, five. I mean, it, it kind of ends up being counted the same. Uh, we can count this thing the same right here, but uh, I, I still think that the way this is playing out to me is that I like playing this better bearish, and this is why I'm playing ETH. I'm not playing BTC, I'm playing ETH, uh, and trust me, I'm watching the BTC charts while I'm playing ETH, okay? But ETH is clearly broken bearish here. There's nothing bullish about this chart. This has been broken. This is an ABC. This is a five wave down, okay? If this breaks up, which it could, it's just going to turn into some super wild, I can't throw a trend line on this freaking thing. I mean, where do you put the freaking trend line, right? Where do, you, where do you put a wedge, right? This, that doesn't know, right? I mean, you can't, you know, that, it's it's really hard to play this out and, and, and to say this is in any particular formation other than just a bearish formation right now, okay? Uh, crosses, let's look at our crosses real quick on our ETH. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing, uh, bullish cross. So we had this the other day. So there's 12 hours. So we saw this, this is a bullish cross. This seven and 50 is bullish. This always bounces back up, but here you go. Same thing as BTC. You have the same exact cross as BTC on your ETH on your 12 hour. And once again, let's go back and we're going to test this, right? Right. So we're going to do ETH. Okay, 7 and 30 death cross. So we're going to go back and let's play the ETH game, right? Let's, let's go back here and see, hey, Vamp, are you cray-cray? Right, let's see if Vamp's cray-cray here, okay? All right, so let's just, we're going to get rid of this. Okay, make that a lot easier. To read okay so seven crossing over the uh seven cross nope it didn't cross look at that just rode rode the line oh cross there 
Look at this. So close. So close. There's the first cross right there. Now, if you were to look at this, would you say that's a death cross? Uh, yeah, that's a death cross right there. Okay, let's go take a look. Let's go find the second one. Right? Let's go find the second. Oh, so look at this one. This is good. On the price action. Okay. So there's your cross on the price action right there. And then your you did the same thing. So watch this. What's this? Wait, okay, watch this. Let me go find this. Give me a second. Was it this one? What chart did no, it wasn't that chart, it's before. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay, so watch this. Hold on, I'm making it happen. <laughs> you get the point? Do you get the point? <laughs> right? Alright, here we go. Let's see, I bet I, this is going to be funny, right? Let's just go back. Right, and here, and there. All right, so let's see what we got here. Here's all our signals from uh, from the last from uh, that we had before. So let's see how these all apply. Okay, let's go into here. Okay, which one of these works? Okay, let's see here. Would this be your drop right there? Where would be your drop at? This would probably be your drop here. Right. Okay, there's our cross right there. Let's make this white. Okay, so didn't quite make it back to the, uh, you know, the 50 was definitely not there. So this doesn't count but this one does double top right double top so now we're going to go here okay i'm going to pull this down just a little bit right here just want to make sure i get that eh almost made it to there almost made it to the 50 yeah it looks good right there Okay, so there's one. Nope, no cross. Yep, cross. So cross, uh, never touched though, right? That just, that never touched, right? Died, nothing happened. There you go. Right. Ooh, man, that was a dump. Didn't do it on the price action. And let's see over here, seven. And so there's your cross. Look at this was snap bullish back up into it. Died, came up, and then died again. Uh, there you go. There's one right there. Snap, uh, man, that thing crossed. The price plummeted, completely died, plummeted again. Uh, snap right there, price died, rally died, came up into it. So uh, not as effective on, it's kind of a 50-50 here 
on ETH for that cross, right? These crosses are not that effective. Let's go down here. Let's get back right in here. Right, so we're gonna pull right back down in here. All right, let's lock this in place. Okay, so, you know, you're on this, and now this thing, 50, 50, I, I'm not, I don't like these ones as much, right? So I don't like these ones as much. So, this is a death cross, but I'm going to have to say this death cross is kind of like it dumps, then pumps, like 50-50, right? But it eventually dies. So it eventually dies. Okay? So that's going to be our call right there. And now you've got the 50 stacked above you right there. So if this if you tap the 50, you're going to make a double top right there. It's a 223. And this is kind of what you'd have. So if you're setting up a double top, let's go. Where's the other one? Where's our other one? Where's that double top one? Right. There you go. Oh, look, and we can use all these. So all these can apply right here. Let's get in here. Come on down here. Okay, get over here. All right, so we got our death cross, but it likes to make a double top, right? And then the death cross, would touch the 50 before it dies. Up. All right, and there we go. Okay, let's see it. Our next ETH chart. All right, so here, uh, the easier simplified version of our ETH chart is right over here. This is the very easily simplified version. Uh, all we're doing is we're just watching this thing. Here's your rising wedge. So there was your rising wedge right here. Let's take a look at our volume. Uh, volume did pretty good. I mean, this is pretty good volume right here. Now, the, the bearish volume flagged. So as the bearish volume flagged, this is actually, uh, this is bearish divergence to me. So this is bearish divergence to me right here. So on the 12 hour, I think this is bearish. And this was, of course, that's bullish. But that's bearish with your, your now if this would have gone up higher like this, this would have been bullish divergence to me right here. As the, this came down, the price is coming down, the volume was going up and then swept right out. But here, this is still bearish to me. So this is still bearish on this divergence, all right? Now I don't even, you know, that's that. Uh, now you're partway into this candle, four hour candle. We're two hours into it, we're halfway through. Uh, you can see our previous volume candles. It's got a long way to go, right? You expect the volume on this candle to be at least halfway up here. It is clearly not, and there's no way we're gonna top out under this unless we have some kind of freaking miracle play out. But I still do expect this to possibly come up and make a double top. Now it did make a double top with this candle previous and this could have been, I, I don't think that's going to be enough though. I think it's going to have to do, I'd like to see a double top up here. 223 is where I would like to see this up here. I'd like to see this come up here, make a double top, target, uh, ETH. I want to see a Double top, then dump. Okay, if it can. I mean, I, that's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see a double top come up here. And then this would just play out the exact same pattern as we had last time. Okay, so there's that. 
Put this right there. Uh, just all of our fibs, not really going to help us out with anything. Just all these fib charts, more members chart stuff. We really use all this stuff in the members charts area. Still same targets, nothing has changed. I still have the same targets. And let's see if we got, nope, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yep, that's it, same targets. Uh, you know, look at this. Uh, so that's that's bullish, that's bearish. Yep, same thing. Four hour, six hour, uh, six hour bearish divergence. Look at that, it's bearish. You're going up, your volume is going up, your price is going down. That's bearish divergence. And harder to find right there. But the six hour chart really shows it really well. All right, yeah, right, then I think we're done. Thank God. That show sucked. Stupid thing. Uh, okay, yep, I did vamp. Uh, yes, I have a light. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, so Chonus wants to do more of the, uh, training with the one-on-one -on -one training stuff. So I love Chon. Dude, I love the Chon. Yeah, he said he's sick. Like I said, I think he's got some kind of a, an infection from some strippers he was dating or something. Yeah. 